Hello and welcome to the AxioFreeza software presentation. Today I'm going to show you in a very fast and smooth way how you process all the steps in our unique software of the digitizable transfer fork assembly. Once you generate it with the intraoral scanner, the files, so an upper and lower scan and the additional AxioFreeza scan file, please open the software and follow the procedure steps. You can either start with alignment, means choose which reference plane you use or in which articulator you want to transfer the data. And once you did it or stored it from the first time, you can skip it. And you start directly in the first point what you have to do. So let's choose start. You have now three screens. Here you have to add your STL files. Go to the right top, import your files now. Go to your folder, indicate the files you need. So the upper, the lower and the Axio Presa scan, open. Now you have to refer them. In the screen in the middle, you have the picture. You can rotate the picture by pressing the left mouse. Button, and then you indicate on the right side which scan it is. We made it with actually pre the scan file. Now you see the lower jaw. And now the last picture shown, rotate it again a little bit. And you have here the upper jaw, so the maxilla. Once you've indicated, you see them all here in individual pictures like before. And clearly, yes, it's them. Go to the next step. The Axio principle. So, how to attach it to our reference points of the transfer bow? You have here three indicated positions. You must find them and identify on your Axio Prisa scan. It's good and useful if you enlarge it just by rolling the bar of the mouse. And now here you have the dimples. Just click with the left mouse to its point and you generate here this yellow ball. On the right side, you see the result it immediately matches roughly together. You see, it's not really very good. So you have the possibility to fine align the mesh files. Means the mesh files, what we scanned, this triangulations, will fit and stitch in the best way to the construction surface of the transfer fork landing pattern. What you saw on the left side of the bow, which is the original. So now we try to find the best, best match that there are no interferences and that's smoothest in the best way. This takes a small while, but when it's looking like that, you see that there are the colors between silver and brown interfering. So that's a very good, and we call it zebra shadow. Go to the next step. Now, like in the analog way, we, may, we must put the model on the impressions on the transfer fork. Here we have on the left side the scan again. We enlarge it so that we can better find it. In the middle picture, you have the scan of the maxilla. And now we must create a triangle as big as possible and mark this points again on the teeth. So we start here on the axial presa, taking the front, left, and on the right. Doesn't matter if you make it like I'm doing now here, left picture, right picture, or if you will do it at first three points on the axial presa and then the three points on the max line. Mark your points, you get a big triangle and you see on the right and the result directly matches together. Here again, rotate, you see, it's not very precise because it was just a roughly orientation. Now we start with the fine alignment of the mesh files. So push here the bottom again, fine align, and you will see then that the two files will get closer into each other and then the mesh files fits the best. That means that we are the most accurate if we get this so-called zebra pattern. When it's done, when you're satisfied, go to the alignment and you come to the preview of the alignment. You see the models together with the transfer bow. If it's okay, 
then go to the next step and now you can export them either you save it as an SDL file you come to a direct model mounting in our digital mounting axis snap mount or you can open it through a uh, special key in the software of for example 3 shape we decide now to save it as SDL file you just fold, choose your folder press start and you see bam ready now we generated the SDL files directly in our order uh, uh, in our computer and we can start a new case or go with them to our CAD program. If you're more interested how it works in detail, please have a look on the other video. Thank you and bye bye.